Yo, guys, today is a big day. A very big day. Be sure to stream us live. A very good morning to you. Welcome to The Way Up. We're with you every single weekday from 5 to 9 o'clock. So we're back once again. Mm -hmm. It's time for the Wake Up Challenge. And essentially, we want to wake you up the best way we know how, with mm -hmm. some comedy and some spontaneity. Yep. Now, today, it's going to be your turn, Nia and Wasabi. You guys are both going to do some radio ads. Okay. For us okay. Today. I, we and I thought about this and I thought, okay, okay, I think I've got it. You need to give me a 30 second radio ad okay. about church. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in the style of a party, almost like, you know, it's going to be a vibe come this is through. This the most lit church, lit church ever. I want that. Okay. Who's going yeah? first? Who's going first? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Nia, let's go. No. No. <laughs> You're not supposed to say Nia Brown. No. You're supposed to say it's Wasabi. Well, Wasabi. My fingers are crossed. I was like, please, Nia. Please, Nia. Hey, but when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. No. <laughs> Fine. I'll go first. All right. Okay. So, Mto saying that he wants a radio ad that is for a church, but yes. that's lit. Yes. Oh. Like it's going down at the church. Oh, going up rather. Yeah. <laughs> it's going all the way up. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's rock out. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> We're about to get it started right here. Everybody kneel down, say a prayer, because it's going down this Thursday. Your favorite pasta will be in the building, giving you a service of a lifetime. hush <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to M7 Zinwami. I'm at work right now, I'm at YFM, uh, doing the breakfast show, if you haven't heard. And today is a big day, very big day. It's always a big day, but today, big day with a capital B, because Ubonang is coming. So we've only do, been doing uh, The Way Up, which is our breakfast show for like, what now? Um, two weeks, three weeks? So this is our first, first celebrity guest, Ubonang. And we were so shook. We were so shook when she, yo, when she said she's coming, we were over the moon. We were screaming. We even did a, a skit. I was like, guys, let me tell you, let's do an, an office skit, a parody of the office. Go check it out on YFM's uh, Instagram or Twitter. And we did that real quick. We we're like, you know what? Let's do that real quickly. So right now, we're pretty much making today Bonang Day. It's Thursday, the 20th of April, 2023. We're making it Bonang Day and we're paying tribute to the things that she's done in the industry so one of the features besides interviewing her is not mimicking her but auditioning for roles that Bonang has done so Mto is going to be doing Miss SA Nia is going to be doing top billing I'm going to be doing uh, live amp so we're going to be acting like we're auditioning for Bonang would, you, would they have chosen us back in the day if we auditioned for these uh, parts uh, these roles, this, these jobs, basically. If we, we, so who better to judge us than the person who was on those platforms and killed it for so many years? So, yeah, I'm here in this room alone right now. I'm practicing by myself. I want to remember my script. Like, I want to absorb my script. And I'm going to go to the main studio over now. They're broadcasting. And, um, yeah, I'm going to join them because they're also practicing. But for now, let me just try and memorize my script. I'm a nerves and shy. I won't even lie. Ish, guys, I know I'm just gonna maybe mess up, but I'll, uh, I'll try my best. So, yeah, see you in a bit. And that was, and that was a Haya Haya Banaba Stoot by Casper Newvest. Shout out to the Mafikeng native. And by fair to, I hope this is, okay. And that was Haya Haya Banaba Stoot by Casper Newvest. And that was a higher, higher Banaba Stoot by Casper Newvest. Shout out to the Mafikeng native. And by fair to, I hope this is, okay. And that was Haya Haya Banaba Stoot by Casper Newvest. Oh, okay. And that was Haya Haya Banaba Stoot by Casper Newvest. Shout out. Okay. 
And that was Haya Haya Banabastot by Casper New Vest. Shout out to the Mafikeng native. I hope you're still in London, Zanzi, because you are tuned in to the Inam Southern YMP here on 99.2. I'm your host, Ooke Wasabi, and I'm going to. Okay. And I'm your host, Ooke Wasabi. Okay. And that was Haya Haya Banabastot by Casper New Vest. Shout out to the Mafikeng. Okay. And that was Haya Haya Banabastot. And that was Haya Haya Banabastot by Casper New Vest. Shout out to the Mafikeng native. Shout out to the Mafik. Okay. And that was Haya Haya. Hope you're still in Nandi Mzansi because you're tuned into the biggest music show in M Southern Y Amp on 99.2. I'm your host, OK Wasabi, and I hope Nilambili because today we're going to be serving you with the hottest and freshest music videos back to back. But don't forget to tweet us on our request line and tell us which music video you'd love to see tonight and we just might play it. Just tweet us and say, yeah. This is what I want, and we just might play it. But for now, Buffetu, let's go pay some bills. So, we'll see you after the break. Okay. And that was Haya Haya Banabastud. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Good evening, South Africa. Welcome to the 65th Miss South Africa pageant. I'm your host, Mutor, coming to you live from the Sun Arena. Our top 16 girls have just walked to the runway, showcasing their unique talent for a spot in the top 10. But we all know the saying that beauty is in the eye of the queen bee holder. So coming up next, we've got our top 10 in swimwear, courtesy of House. Incredible episode of Top Billing. Today we explore the forests, the mountains, and the beautiful rivers of the ever so charming town of Hawksback in the Eastern Cape. We also bring fine dining straight to your kitchen. Chefs on app will be joining us in the studio today. But first, we ask you this question. Stories making headlines. Allegedly, it is a well known secret that NASFAS funded students who did not qualify for financial aid. And KZN Education Portfolio Committee investigating why learners spent weeks without getting their food parcels. Good morning. I'm Nukwazi Kumbisa. Guys, my co hosts, <laughs> these are the, you know, I've met crazy people, yeah, but these people top it, guys. Like, they randomly break out into accents. Randomly. There's I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> So guys, imagine this like randomly. <laughs> you were talking fine. No guys, so what are you doing after this? No no <laughs> <laughs> Mid convo. Let's hear yours. Let's uh, hear uh, yours. Uh, 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 yo, my, yo. Hey. Let's hear but yours, it's good. So. Let me let me tell you guys. All it's right. really Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, which which country? The UK. UK. All right, all right. <laughs> um, what would you like me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that accent is I coming from. I don't know where that accent comes Wales. from. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a spot, a dick. Here we go. Fellas <laughs> and mash. <laughs> so many of us and mash. Cup of tea and scones. <laughs> something, something. <laughs> Can you take the, the, the cola off, off air so I can like tell them the sales? Oh shit, sorry! Hello now! How's it now? I like to sort out the body. I like the hoodie dress, yeah? Oh, yeah. Not me and you matching, Mel! Mm. This is so nice! Is that how she's gonna walk? Just below the threshold, but now legally 
Outside the offices of the MEC of Social Development at the corner of Commissioner and Simmons Street, Marshalltown. The picket comes in the wake of the news that NPO funds have been reduced by 62 million rand to reprioritize funding for other poverty alleviating programs in the province. The Gauteng Care Crisis Committee is calling on the MEC to urgently meet with its members to discuss reversing the decision and to prioritize the needs of vulnerable groups in the province. Gauteng Core Committee's table Mushetani outlines their plan of the march. One person has to audibly present them that what we are submitting, it is a true reflection of the situation they're facing, and that what we are submitting. <laughs> Recapping your headlines, the fifth suspect in the Table Bear Stick escape scandal will be appearing in court this morning. We're gonna have you here. Yeah. yeah? Yes. Okay. Blue for blue. Do you have headphones? Yes, you can take mine. Okay. I like to hear my voice when I speak. No, that's a cool. Everybody, how are you? So good. We are so excited to Great. have you on the show. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We couldn't believe it when we got the news. Our mm. producer said, right. guys, Bonang agreed to come. We lost, lost it. it. Yeah, mm. so you owe it all to Prince because yes. he mailed me. And uh, luckily, you know, I was around. So yes. I thought, and I love that feature, you yeah. know, the feature that you guys have on Thursdays. So I was like, this is, I, I, I can leave my house for this. Oh, <laughs> because I, I, I hardly ever leave my house for a lot of things. Yes. So, yeah, I thought, yeah, why not? And I love YFM. This is my home. Yes. Um, so it's very lovely to be back. It's, it's been a while since you've been here. We're yes. so excited that you're back. Uh, you. But also the force has been waiting for you. That's true. Mm -hmm. They've been interacting with you a lot on social media. Yes. But we've yes. also been waiting for the reality TV. Yes. And now we're seeing <laughs> that you're about to serve us. Serve mm -hmm. us, serve us. Let's talk about social media, B, because yes. you love to interact with your fans on social media. You I love do. talking to the force on social media. Is that you responding to everyone? It is. It really? is. I handle nice. all my own personal social media. So my Twitter and my Instagram are all me. And then obviously for my wine, we have a social media team. But uh, yeah, I prefer to do things on my own, mm -hmm. to respond to people, to upload my own, you know, content. I just think it's more genuine. Mm -hmm. And I find, I don't know, like people can really tell. Yeah. Um, when it's not you okay. or when it's fake or mm. when it's put on so yes. I try very much to just have a, a control over yes. my social media absolutely yeah. you took reality TV and you took it to a whole other level yes. being Bonlang so many catchphrases Yes. So many catchphrases. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you ever had people kind of say your catchphrases back at you? Has anyone quoted you to um, you? Numerous times, yeah. actually. Uh, yeah, hi do is uh, the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every <laughs> time somebody <laughs> leaves Terminal A, <laughs> <go> on, <laughs> it's like hi do, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so um, and also the uh, the term Mugel. I love yes. that a lot of people have taken it on. It's mm. part of the jargon and part of you know cultural conversations, mm. which is which is lovely. Uh, but people say to me all the time and uh, I mean apart from just the jargon and the, the quotables mm. um, I've got like 10,000 nicknames too mm. so for anything from Lebonza and DB Mafanda yes. you know, whatever whenever you see me people just give me a name so um, yeah I, I love it I think good We're that's what reality shows are for you know absolutely. that's you, you want cultural impact exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. and you you did that yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. So, uh, you've seen how people react to you, Bonang. Even yes. here, when you walked in here, yes. fans losing their minds, even here, the eyes wide and wide open. Yes. <laughs> when was the last time Bonang was starstruck? Who is Bonang to Bonang? <laughs> oh. I love that. That's a good um, I don't know. Mm. I am very intrigued by heads of states. Mm. Uh, so, presidents and, you know, those kinds of people really kind of shake me. Like, mm. really, really, really powerful people. Yo, Joe Biden. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, many years ago, I was at the United Nations mm. and I was uh, moderating a panel discussion. With One of the reasons why we called you here yes. is because we know 
Myself, Mia Brown, and Tor Wasabi, mm. we know getting a cosign from, from B, 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 B. <laughs> yes. would go a long way for us in this industry. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, to celebrate the many eras of Wanang, we would like to audition for you. Oh. And this is not just going to be any kind of audition, this is going to be auditions for the shows that you were a part of that we always wanted to be on. Ah, oh, I love that. So can you be our judge Of course, today? I'd love to. That's yes! fine, yeah. Yes! So wonderful, wonderful. Yes, we're so yes. excited. Okay, I just got nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easing you through traffic this morning, it's Mellow and Sleazy with Gezela on YFM, taking the time to exactly 8.25. And we're going all the way up this morning. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's Nia Brown. It's okay, Wasabi. It's some toys. You girl, beat. And if you just tuned in, well, the team is about to audition for me. Very excited about this they think they can make great presenters yes. they make mm -hmm. great great radio broadcasters but what about tv yes. mm. it's very different right so at the end of this you'll tell us exactly who you love nia you're gonna go first or okay on toe who's who's first let's i'm start. gonna go first let's okay. start with you all right so uh, dazzle me darling okay <laughs> all right Let me get into my toppling pose because there's a triangle. Get the triangle. All righty. A very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another incredible episode of Top Billing. Today, we are going to explore the forests and the beautiful rivers that are in Hogsbag, a charming little town in the Eastern Cape. Also, we are bringing fine dining into your living room. room rather. Chefs on App is going to be joining us on the show to tell us a little bit more about that. But first, here's a question for you. What kind of home does a multi-award-winning dome filling hip hop and ama piano superstar have well we took a tour of casper your vest's home who's going to be answering that question for us your night is only just getting started sit back relax and enjoy this it's top filling. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. okay. You know what? That was good. And you know what's unfair? Let me tell you about radio broadcasters. Mm -hmm. Because the crux of TV hosting is ad-libbing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you're a TV, I mean a radio broadcaster, you're already obviously very familiar In with that, that you know, talent yes. and that part of, I mean, the profession. So, yes. very good. Okay. I, now, after listening to you, I want to go to the Eastern Cape and then I want to go to Casper's house. Yay! Mm -hmm. So, wonderful. <laughs> I'm okay. so happy. Thank okay. you. All right. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> Welcome to the 65th Miss South Africa pageant. I'm your host, Mtor, broadcasting live from the Sunbit Arena. Now, our top 16 girls have already walked the runway, showcasing their unique talents with that one spot in the top 10. Mm. But we all know the saying, beauty is in the eye of the Queen Bee holder. So, <laughs> coming up, we've got our top 10 wearing swimwear, uh, courtesy of House of Sass. Now, while our judges are going to be looking for the new queen, the king has just entered the multi-award winning, the self-proclaimed, uh, proclaimed rather, uh, Tito Mboweni, because like me, he's good for that. Mm. <laughs> Pardon my arrogance, this is Casper Vives. <laughs> I love that you're speaking to the bedazzled cat. Yeah, yeah, I have to. I have to keep that in. All right, okay, wonderful. All right, okay. I like that. I love that you take your time. Yes. Right? Because what also people forget about TV presenting is that it's a conversation. Yeah. You're just speaking to somebody through something which happens to be a camera. I love that. Took a bit too long. But I love it. Well done. Yeah. Okay. And okay, Wasabi, we're looking for live. Now, live was one of my favorite jobs. At, at its peak, it was the number one music show yes. in the land. And mm. I think nothing has ever replaced it. Yeah, and I feel sorry for our musicians that they don't have anywhere where they can really showcase, you know, mm. that mm. one show yeah. that just, you know, the, yeah, the whole yeah. country shuts down. Mm. Our artists deserve that. Yes. Okay, you're auditioning for life. And that was Haya Haya <laughs> Barnabas Tote by Casper Nyovest. Shout out to the Mafi King native. And I hope Nimnandla Pekai Amzansi because you're tuned into the biggest music show in Msauden, uh, Y Amp on 99.2. Ika Malamu Oke Wasabi. And I hope Nilambile because we're going to be feeding you the hottest and freshest music videos back to back. Don't forget to tweet us on our request line and tell us what song would you like us to play tonight. Just tweet and say, hey, yeah, this is what I want. <laughs> 
For now though, we'll All be going right. to For now though, we'll be going pay For now though, we'll be going to pay some bills. So, njenge kit kete tatu vulva. We'll see you after the break. Right. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm just editing this video and I just wanted to make sure you guys heard what I said. Nite, jenge kit kat, etka tu vulwa. I'll see you after the break. Yo! After the break. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, all right, okay. Do you Very know how okay. funny you are? Mm. Do you know you. that sketch you guys posted on Instagram yesterday? It's uh, like hysterical. Oh, thank you so I much. hope it's a series. I hope like it's a, an introduction to a series that's yeah. going to live. I love that. You are hysterical, right? And so also much. to you be presenting, you have to capture people's um, attention for mm. a very long time. Mm. You are... Thank you. Yeah. Do you have it? Are you guys recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also beyond the dance. We are very much camera. recording. All right. Well done, guys. All righty. Thank, thank you. you so much. Queen Bee, you still need to pick between the three of us who you're giving the official Before co sign you do. to. Okay. Okay. There we have it. Now, over to Queen Bee. Well, you know, the problem is um, you all have a variety of talents, mm. and I think you're good. You're just so wonderful. But a man that makes me laugh is good yes, yes one. yeah and ladies always choose a man that makes you laugh mm -hmm. because life is tough yes and there's nothing to to laugh about mobu pillow so you need a man mm -hmm. so my mm -hmm. co-sign goes to okay <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> Tour, you are the best dressed person in the world. So my cosign goes to your style, your pizzazz, your fashion. Thank you. And Nia, just because you are the only woman here, you are the queen of this whole place. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see what we spoke about off air. Yes. I think you will do be so good on television. Thank you. Hosting a lifestyle show where you get to, like me, interview your favorite celebrities. Yes. So I co-sign you in, in just your in totality. Mm. Mm. Thank number you so one, much. Thank Bye, you. Bye, bye. Give me number one, I'm a wife. Right. You got a bag. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. This is so beautiful. This means so much to me. And you bought the expensive PNG. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm already a step ahead of the rest, you know? If only one of us could take it and sign it. I wish. I wish. And it would be a nice follow-up. If we tell him we have to. No, no. Actually, that's a new trick. What you do is even push. Ooh, what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. Yo, guys, today was ridiculous. Today was ridiculous, you know? I felt like meeting Bonang was like, you know, I didn't think I would have that thing about meeting her. What thing? That thing like, wow. I'm I know she's, she's huge, she's Bonang, she's mm -hmm. a legend. But I didn't think I'd have that thing mm -hmm. until she was in the room, baby, and she walked in. And she was like, hi, you know, and mm. you know, <laughs> walking in. Nto and Nia love Monang, so they were already on cloud nine. They were, what did they do to they, they were just like, you know, you could, starstruck. You could see in their eyes with you. I probably would have froze because I love Monang. So you probably would have been like. They, yo, but she, she's such a nice lady. She's such a nice lady and she's a professional. And yeah, I'm so jealous. She yeah. did the radio link, babe, like she's never left the radio. I was like, yo. She's, she's like, she's really good. She was born for this thing, babe. Mm. And I was so shocked. While I was doing research on her before this thing, mm -hmm. I found out she's from, uh, she lived in Leondale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leondale is like, what, 10 minutes away from yeah. Foster, guys. 
me and daddy used to go to the Indian almost every day back in the day. Mm. So she's from the East Rand. And I'm like, well, she lived in, she lived in the East Rand, actually. Yeah. So that was actually surprising. So, she hey. Were happy like you. No, I was like, the East Rand very, but it inspires people, you know, to be great. So I wasn't, I wasn't really shocked, shocked. I was like, oh, mm. East Rand oh, so there's a lot of people that live in Newville. No, there's no one in Newville. God, you Trevor Noah lived in Newville at some point. Kanye Bao lived in Newville at some point. So a lot of people that lived in New at some point. Okay, I guess, you know, but they were just, you know, they were just visiting. They're not really from them. <laughs> but yeah, you know, she was friendly. Everyone came out of the office because mm-hmm. it's YFM downstairs. Upstairs is ENCA, the news mm-hmm. station. Mm-hmm. People came downstairs, babe, to come I take pictures. Came, I would have come, came downstairs. Come greet her. Mm. She even gave us, <laughs> each of us, she brought us uh, BNG boxes. I was like, you know, I almost didn't take it. Imagine. But I was like, Imagine. Let me take it for Sasha. She's gonna pretty much enjoy this. So, so she gave everyone a box. Well, not everyone, just me and two. Oh, and yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was thinking, I'm like, if Joyce doesn't bring it. I almost didn't take it. Because I, I was gonna like, say that she bought um, gifts. gifts. Yeah. You said she put a lot of um, yeah. people. When she, was, when, when she said she, uh, she likes funny guys and mm. I'm funny, I was like, you know what? Just confirming the truth, my sister. You know, you know what? She said you're funny. Eh? Mm, I was like, you know what? You don't need me to tell you you're funny. You won't answer this. Mm. Mm. But yo, I, people were happy. Everyone was going crazy, babe. Yo, everyone was like, everyone was starstruck. Babe. Everyone was just shocked, mm. I'm sure. Yeah, but yeah, guys, hey, that was it, Shem. That was great meeting Bonang Shem. That was great. Uh, I feel like that, I don't know if you guys understand, but the breakfast show on YFM just started like what two three weeks ago this is our first celebrity guest and our first celebrity guest is bonang where do you go from wow. here that's like bonang mm. we didn't even build up you know our first guest is bonang it's just so bam. huge yeah so so i, I don't know again now Wuti, where do we go they asked me Wuti, you have to interview me no no <laughs> hey sasha how long have you been dating george i have no months what the month season. <laughs> they asked me who would I love to have on, in, in studio. Obviously, I said Trevor. And I think they don't, because I, I heard them, and I'm just like, they don't realize that you are big, mm. big Trevor Noah fan. So I said, I said Trevor. But I think you'd faint. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be I don't know if I'd be able to interview him, actually. <laughs> I don't know. What would you do? I, I don't know if I'd be able to interview him. It'd be tough, babe. What would you do? Because I, I don't even know. You know babe. when they were talking about the um, what is this? The pressure? What is this? The heart rate? Yeah. If they had to bring Trevor Noah, your heart rate would. I don't know, babe. But yeah, guys, they, that's our first guest, and mm. we were like, we were so shocked when she agreed to come through. She's like, no, definitely want to come through. You I like you guys' vibe, and I was like, yeah, okay. But now, where do we go from here? Who do we have as celebrity guest? But mm. we'll see. It's, a, it's been a great journey. These three weeks have been cool. They've been nice. Mm. Um, it's only the third week of a whole year. And maybe even whole years. Mm. Could be wow. doing radio for the next couple yeah. of years. Who knows? Mm. So I'm going to meet some interesting people mm. for the next couple of months, for the next couple of years. Maybe. You're going to meet other people. Mm. Mm. So yeah, that's a good start. It's a great start. But yeah, guys, if you want to start listening to radio, start with uh, The Way Up. On YFM 99.2 with Oke Wasabi, Nia Brown and Toh uh, from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. And yeah, you'll enjoy it. It's a fun, light-hearted show. And yeah, only way from here is up, mm. basically. But yeah, Sasha, I hope you enjoyed your BMG cans. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. <sighs> we'll see you next week this. with another vlog. My name has been Oke Wasabi. I was not alone. I was actually the most beautiful woman in the world. We'll see you guys soon next week. Peace. Shop, shop. Thank you so much for the congratulations on the previous video. So many congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. You guys have been waiting for this. Hmm? Yeah, you guys have been waiting. Yo, thank you so much for the congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank you so much for everyone that said I have a nice time. You too, babe. You too. Peace.